welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the electrifying world of EVs, or electric vehicles, in our all-inclusive guide to the speediest chargers out there. You may have noticed it, you may not, but the electric revolution is well underway. While it's true, the petrol heads among us might still have some time left with our beloved combustion engines. Thanks to synthetic fuels and hydrogen combustion, the reality is EVs are charging into the mainstream. Heck, you might even spot a charging station or two the next time you pull up at your local gas station. The early adopters are already here, making the switch to all-electric cars. But let's face it, as with all new technology, there are some bumps in the road, limited range, and slow charging times, to name a couple. And, in this world where everything is fast-paced and instantly accessible, waiting hours for your vehicle to charge simply doesn't cut it. So, the question we're answering today is, which electric car can get you back on the road the fastest? We'll be evaluating based on two key metrics. First, the time it takes to charge from 10 to 80% or 5 to 80% in some cases, an industry standard. And second, the officially claimed charging rate, given that battery capacities do differ. Oh, and before the Tesla fans come at us, while we love them, Teslas max out at a 250 kilowatts charging rate, so they don't make the cut for this list. Stay tuned, buckle up and let's get charged up on this electrifying journey. Let's kick things off with the Genesis Electrified G80, boasting an impressive charging capacity of 350 kilowatts. Now, if you're not quite up to speed with Genesis, here's a quick rundown. Genesis sprouted up in 2015 as Hyundai's luxurious cousin, offering a touch more elegance, similar to the relationship between Toyota and Lexus. As you'd expect, Genesis has hopped on board the Electric Express with their range of high-end EVs. Now, thanks to an advanced 800V wiring system, the electrified G80 can soak up a charge at a whopping 350 kilowatts. You might be thinking, with such a powerful charging capability, surely the G80 must be a front-runner, right? Well, not exactly. The G80 totes around an 87.2 kWh battery, meaning it requires a tad more juice to get it fully charged. But don't fret, this only translates to an additional 2 to 3 minutes at peak charging rate. Just enough time to nip back to the cafe for a refill on your latte. But here's the silver lining. The G80's larger than average battery size means it can cover a staggering 323 miles on a single charge. That makes it the ideal partner for those long, open road adventures. Moving right along, let's talk about the Audi e-tron GT and its high-performance counterpart, the RS e-tron GT. Now, if you've noticed a resemblance to the Porsche Taycan, you're not wrong. Beneath the sleek exterior, these cars share a lot of the same tech. Interestingly though, when it comes to their batteries, they've each got their own thing going on. Standard on both e-tron models is a 93 kilowatt hour battery, and every model is equipped with Audi's renowned Quattro all-wheel drive system, powered by dual electric motors. Charging-wise, these e-tron siblings can power up from 5 to 80 percent in just 22.5 minutes, hitting a peak charging speed of 270 kilowatts. Despite packing a larger battery and having a slightly slower peak charging speed, they managed to charge up more quickly than the Genesis we just talked about. Now, let's talk numbers. The RS e-tron GT, when flexing its electric muscles, can pump out a formidable 637 horsepower. It'll cruise for up to 232 miles on a single charge or 236 miles if you're behind the wheel of the non-RS model, 
and it'll catapult you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a thrilling 3.1 seconds. Fast charging and fast moving, that's the Audi e-tron GT for you. Now, let's paint a picture. You're cruising in your Porsche Taycan, and your buddy is riding shotgun in their e-tron GT. Both of you are hoping for a similar performance, and decide to take a road trip together. As both vehicles' batteries dip to 5%, you pull over for a quick power boost. And what do you know? Both cars hit 80% charge at the exact same moment. That's no coincidence, folks. With the performance battery, the Taycan matches the e-tron GT's capacity and max charging speed of 270 kilowatts. The Porsche Taycan actually blazed a trail as the first electric vehicle to support 800-volt fast charging, offering a range that varies from 208 to 246 miles depending on the model. The Taycan's charging system can handle a 270 kilowatts charge and gives you the option to choose between a 79.2 kilowatt hours or a 93.4 kilowatt hour battery. So, whether you're a Porsche person or an Audi aficionado, you're in for a quick charge and a long, enjoyable ride. What's the magic number for mid-range to high-end EVs these days? Well, it seems to be charging from 10 to 80% in a snappy 18 minutes, a feat achieved by half the electric cars on our list. This trend highlights a simple fact, Korean manufacturers are pulling out all the stops to cement their place in the EV race. This is largely because they all share the EGMP platform, allowing a speedy 350 kilowatts charging rate. The difference comes down to the size of the battery, which is why the electrified GV70 charges up quicker than its cousin, the electrified G80. Drawing on the design cues of the standard fuel-powered Genesis GV70, the electrified version is propelled by a 77.4 kWh battery, in harmony with an 800-volt wiring system. This stylish SUV boasts a peak charging rate of 350 kilowatts and gives you a decent 283 miles of range when fully juiced up. So, if you're looking for style, speed, and stamina, the electrified GV70 might just be your perfect match. What's the magic number for mid-range to high-end EVs these days? Well, it seems to be charging from 10 to 80% in a snappy 18 minutes, a feat achieved by half the electric cars on our list. This trend highlights a simple fact, Korean manufacturers are pulling out all the stops to cement their place in the EV race. This is largely because they all share the EGMP platform, allowing a speedy 350 kilowatts charging rate. The difference comes down to the size of the battery, which is why the electrified GV70 charges up quicker than its cousin, the electrified G80. Drawing on the design cues of the standard fuel-powered Genesis GV70, the electrified version is propelled by a 77.4 kWh battery, in harmony with an 800-volt wiring system. This stylish SUV boasts a peak charging rate of 350 kilowatts and gives you a decent 283 miles of range when fully juiced up. So, if you're looking for style, speed, and stamina, the electrified GV70 might just be your perfect match. And just like that, we're back to another Korean star with a charging time from 10 to 80% of 18 minutes on a fast charger. Say hello to the Ionic 5, Hyundai's ambitious venture into crafting a swift, luxurious, and environmentally friendly crossover. You guessed it, the Ionic 5 also boasts a peak charging rate of 350 kilowatts, thanks to sharing the same underpinnings as its fellow Korean EVs. Who knew platform sharing could be so powerful? Now, you might be thinking, all these 18-minute, 350 kilowatts chargers seem pretty similar, right? 
But let me tell you, the Ionic 5 is something quite special. In 2022, this compact EV powerhouse swept the board, winning the World Car of the Year title, and also bagging the World Electric Vehicle of the Year and World Car Design of the Year awards. Plus, it proudly sits on the IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus list. So, if you're after an award-winning, fast-charging, and stylish EV, the Ionic 5 might just be the one for you. Now, let's shift our attention to the Kia EV6. On the surface, it might seem like a clone of the Ionic 5, sporting a new face and a fresh logo. And while that might be oversimplifying things a bit, it's true that the EV6 offers the same rapid charging speeds, wields the same battery as the top-tier Ionic 5, and packs the same punch with 320 horsepower in its all-wheel drive configuration. But you're probably wondering, what gives the Kia EV6 the upper hand? Well, it currently holds a Guinness World Record for the shortest charging time needed to traverse the United States in an EV. This means that in real-world conditions, it requires less time juicing up. Charging at a peak rate of 350 kilowatts, it matches its cousin's 18-minute charge time. But here's the clincher, the EV6 can cover a respectable 300 miles of range even in its all-wheel drive mode, something the Ionic 5 can only achieve with rear-wheel drive. So, if you're all about range and real-world performance, the Kia EV6 could be your perfect electric ride. We might sound like we're stuck on repeat, so let's breeze through this. An 800-volt wiring system, a 77.4 kilowatt-hour battery pack, a 350 kilowatts peak fast charging rate, and a 10 to 80% charge time of 18 minutes. Got it? Good. Now, the Ionic 6 not only sports all these impressive specs, but it also proudly carries the same World Car Awards that its sibling, the Ionic 5, clinched last year. Plus, it brings a sleeker, more modern aesthetic to the table. The Ionic 6 shakes things up with a sedan body style, shedding the boxy look of its predecessors. And here's the kicker, even though it shares the same tech as the Ionic 5 and EV6, its aerodynamic design allows it to cover an impressive 361 miles on a single charge, thanks to an outstanding drag coefficient of 0.21. So, if you're in the market for a fast-charging EV with an extra dash of style and a longer range, the Ionic 6 might just be the car you've been waiting for. And now for something completely different. Say hello to the Rimac Nevera, a hypercar that's rewriting the rules for high-performance EVs. Packing a massive 120 kilowatt-hour battery, this beast powers its electric motors to a mind-boggling 1,914 horsepower, enabling it to rocket from 0 to 60 in under 2 seconds. But, as we've said, today's list is all about charging times, not speed records. So how does the never affair? Impressively, this Rimac hypercar can charge from 0 to 80% in just 19 minutes. That's not only an extra 10% compared to the other EVs we've mentioned, but it's also juicing up a much larger battery. So how does the Nevera rank among the fastest charging electric cars out there? The secret lies in its innovative battery tech, allowing the Nevera to handle a staggering 500 kilowatts of DC fast charging. If you're looking for lightning fast charging times combined with hypercar performance, the Rimac Nevera might just be the EV of your dreams. So, you've been wondering which electric car charges the fastest? Well, your wait is over. Introducing the Lucid Air, one of the freshest and most eagerly awaited fast-charging electric vehicles to hit the market. Nailing down precise charging speeds and 10 to 80% state of charge rates for the Lucid is a bit tricky, 
primarily due to the variety of battery sizes and charge rates across its model range. But let's put it this way, in its fastest charging guise, the Air Pure, it takes a mere 16 minutes to charge, hitting a peak rate of 300 kilowatts. Lucid boldly claims that thanks to its 900V plus charging architecture, it can pile on 300 miles of range in just 20 minutes, making it the speediest EV to achieve this feat that's because, while its peak charge rate may be lower than some competitors, it can sustain that rate for longer. And let's not forget, the Lucid Air isn't just about quick charging. It's a performance powerhouse, with the Air Sapphire cranking out a whopping 1,200 horsepower. Plus, some variants can cover over 500 miles on a single charge. This is the epitome of luxury and innovation in the electric car world, and we're thrilled to see what Lucid has up its sleeve for the future. Lucid Gravity, we're eagerly awaiting your debut. That's it for today's rundown of the fastest charging electric vehicles. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more electrifying content. Until next time, keep charging forward.